Okay friends, we're going to get started by folding our paper in half. Then we're going to draw half a vase. Make sure the middle part of your vase matches up with the edge of your paper. Then we're going to cut it out. Make sure you go slow and take your time so that your final vase looks neat. Be really careful when you're working on those handles. You don't want to lose any fingers. Then open it up and voila, reflectional symmetry. When we paint, you're going to paint one side yellow. As you paint, try and paint in the same shape as your vase. That's going to help to make your vase look 3D. In the middle, I want you to add a little bit of orange. Feel free to overlap the orange with the yellow. That's going to help blend them together and create that 3D look. On the other side of your vase, you're going to use some brown paint. Again, overlap that brown paint with the orange and that's going to help it look 3D. So you should have a light side and a dark side. Finally, we're going to add some details in black watercolor paint. Remember, our vase has reflectional symmetry. So whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. And the last thing we'll do is a little bit of splatter paint to make our work look antique. 